best bites forever. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Chef Alicia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these decadent deep fried s'mores. Let's rock it out. So the first thing that I'm adding into my bowl is one cup of Bisquick, and to that I'm adding two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I just want to give that a little stir and kind of combine those two things together. And of course, do not worry because I will be putting a full list of ingredients down in the description below. Once I get that pretty mixed together, I'm going to add in one cup of buttermilk. And if you happen not to have buttermilk in the house, you can use like a half of a cup of milk mixed with a half of a cup of yogurt and just kind of stir it together to give it that little twang. I also added in one egg and here I have two teaspoons of veggie oil and then I'm adding in some coconut extract, one teaspoon to be exact. Of course, vanilla extract would also be really delicious in here, but I decided to go with coconut, and by the way, that is my favorite kind of coconut extract to use. The next thing that I'm going to do is add just a little pinch of salt, maybe not quite what's in my hand, but let's say a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. That's going to really help bring out the flavor of the chocolate and make it nice. So then I just need to go ahead and stir this up and see what I think about my texture. I did decide to go ahead and add another quarter of a cup of Bisquick just to thicken it up a little bit and I'm going to stir that together and take a look at it again and this time I am perfectly happy with what I have here so I am ready to move on to my marshmallow. So here I have one of those kind of flat, like I think they're called campfire marshmallows, but they're like the bigger ones and they're uh, flat. So I'm going to kind of pull a little hole inside of it and make it deep, but don't let it go all the way through and then put a piece of chocolate in there, any kind that you want. Today I happen to be being traditional. So I used the Hershey's and I put a little square in there and now I'm just kind of squeezing it shut so that it's sealed really nice. Put those in the freezer until they are hard as rocks and then you are ready to move on to the next step. Here I have some canola oil in my pan and I also have just a little dipping cup here of the batter that we just made and my very hard frozen marshmallows stuffed with chocolate. I'm going to give it a nice little dip over here to the side. I don't want to do it over top of my pan, but that is what it is looking like. And this is my first one going in. Of course, this is going to work out just a little bit better if your oil is a little hotter than that first one going in. You want to have these nice bubbles like I have here going around on the outside edges because if you have too low of an oil temperature when you're frying, you end up with like oily dessert, kind of overly greasy, and that's not delicious. So go ahead and let them cook for anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute on each side. Obviously, you have to flip them halfway. See, this little guy over here needs to be flipped. There we go. And these are ready to come out. And let's check out what we have going on over here. So for my setup here, obviously I have a paper towel. I just want to pick one of these dudes that's not too hot and I can actually touch it and it's trying to stick to the paper towel because there's melted marshmallow coming out. Never a bad thing to have melted marshmallow, but we don't want it sticking there. Anyway, I'm going to cut this in half and let's take a look inside. Oh yes, oh my goodness, there it is, just like Mama Never Made. There it is, guys, go ahead and enjoy and make sure to subscribe and like and do all of those awesome things that awesome people do, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Best bites forever.com